Hello everybody, welcome to a quick video from Indusoft. Uh, my name is Scott Cortier, and today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to get a remote HMI going on a Raspberry Pi device. If you're not familiar with the Raspberry Pi, it's a very inexpensive uh, computer. Um, just uh, without monitor, keyboard, and mouse, uh, they can be purchased for somewhere in the neighborhood of around $35 a nice kit containing a case and a power supply and all that stuff for somewhere between 50 and 60 modules uh, modules uh, dollars and uh, it gives you a lot of nice uh, features what i've done here is i've opened up indusoft web studio uh, our award-winning uh, hmi and SCADA product and today what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in here i have a remote desktop connection to a, a raspberry pi device uh, that I have sitting here on my desk and just so I could get everything in a Windows environment so I can record it I did this remote desktop connection now in order to get a remote uh, view into the Indusoft Web Studio runtime uh, either on a tablet such as an iPad or an Android device or, or even uh, on a desktop either with Chrome or Internet Explorer 9 or 10 uh, we have to have an HTML5 type web browser uh, that that makes it so that you don't have to install an app and more importantly you don't have to update an app uh, you just open up a browser now the default browsers that come on uh, uh, the Raspberry Pi I, I'm not sure if they're they're necessarily supporting HTML5 but I do know that the chromium web, web browser actually is supporting HTML5 well it doesn't come pre-installed on the, the Raspberry Pi so let's uh, do a short tutorial on how you do that uh, so I'm gonna open up uh, I just have a terminal um, uh, here and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a command that's going to allow us to go out and install uh, get and install uh, the Chromium web, web browser so I'm going to type in here uh, sudo uh, apt uh, get and install Chromium uh, browser and there's instructions on how to do this all over the the internet now I happen to have it already installed but this is the general idea it's gonna uh, say that hey it's already installed the latest version that's okay and you can see I already have it here on my desktop so I'm gonna close that terminal and I'm gonna open up chromium and while that's opening I'm gonna move that off the edge of the screen here we'll bring that back in a second I want to show you here in Indusoft Web Studio we have a demo project that comes pre-installed when you install Indusoft Web Studio and uh, if I run this here on my local desktop um, what you're gonna see is some screens some various industries that we're in uh, lots of different things here oil and gas wind uh, food and beverage water and wastewater so on and so forth I'm gonna leave this open on an animations screen where I can move things around and, and show you some various features uh, I'm gonna bring the uh, Raspberry Pi remote desktop connection in here and what I'm going to do is you can see here uh, in the bottom status bar of my uh, Indusoft Web Studio uh, application that's running I have my IP address which is uh, located right here what I'm going to do here is type this into uh, my uh, Raspberry Pi it looks like I already did this this morning in this case it's just going to point to um, the IP address slash MA for mobile access uh, I didn't want 233 sorry I wanted 232 and let's see if I can correct that before it uh, says, oop, can't get there. Never mind. Let's try 232. And what this will do is this will go back to the um, runtime through, in this case, it's Microsoft IIS, and uh, serve up, uh, and then first of all, it'll serve up uh, security um, challenge here, and it'll prompt us for security. In this case, I have a username on here, which is just guest when it prompts us for that I'll put that in and then I'll load up and the first time through here it takes a little bit uh, to get going but uh, uh, if you're remote it's much uh, uh, easier than walking somewhere or driving somewhere to get uh, uh, information put in my username in this application there's no password uh, you could and probably should use that uh, whenever you're doing remote access and here what we're doing is uh, we're we're prompting for all the different uh, possibilities we have these different uh, tree views laid out and I've done that and I'll show you here in our development system in just a second I'm gonna go into industries and go into process values this will allow us to see 
uh, the tags uh, or the variables uh, with different widgets, different gauges, circle gauges, semicircle, linear gauges, text boxes, and uh, switches. And when this comes up, uh, I'll show you that uh, we can have access to that data. It's the same data that's uh, available in the Indusoft Web Studio project uh, throughout the project. And here in just a minute, you'll start seeing it updating. And uh, wherever it's enabled, in this case where this background is blue, I can actually change those values. And uh, I don't have any here on, on the animation screen that I can change, but uh, that'll allow you to do that. Alternatively, we can get alarms. We can get trending on this. And then uh, uh, even kind of more powerful, we can actually see these exact screens. So if I go here into screens and then I choose the animation screen, uh, which I'm already on here, uh, you should see the exact uh, same screen or very darn close to it. Uh, we currently support uh, uh, most of the objects that are available within Indusoft Web Studio. We're adding more and more all the time and um, uh, it's, it's very easy to create and I'll show you that. So here we're loading up that screen. You can see it's exactly that same screen and the data is coming through. Now I happen to be showing this on a remote desktop on my laptop, but this is actually running on a Raspberry Pi computer uh, elsewhere on my desk. And you can even see things like, uh, if you take a look at this little robot here, I can grab this and move this position-wise across the screen, and it'll update and uh, move, and uh, do that a couple times here. Get that uh, uh, shown here, so you can see that. Uh, and another way that we can input information, let me move this so we can see this here. Uh, all right, so this input box here, I can uh, click on this, and where that value currently is uh, 50, let's say, what it'll allow me to do is it'll bring up a box here, and maybe I can type in the value of uh, 27, let's say, and hit right, and you can see how fast that changed up here, and it went to, went to that. So again, with security built in, a uh, very nice way to um, uh, view and interact with security in mind. Uh, on any remote device, in this case, including a Raspberry Pi. Now, let's see just briefly how how we did this. In this application, uh, now this comes along with Indusoft Web Studio, and it's already published, uh, but if you create your own application, you would just simply go to Publish, Save All as HTML, and that would save your screens as HTML, and uh, then come in here to Thin Clients, go into Mobile Access, and that uh, kind of tree view or those various tiles that I had shown, this is where you're going to select what you get to see and uh, what tag names and uh, what gets alarmed and trended. And then there's one, one more thing that I need to show you. Uh, so here's that uh, kind of tree view. You can see where we had features and industries and things of that nature. Here's where you get to choose what gets trended, uh, what allowed to, to be written to, and the widget that shows up and so on and so forth and then down below you can see where I picked my uh, animation screen and uh, just since I published that I can choose from any of those screens that were created uh, previously in Indusoft Web Studio without having to having to regenerate those or recreate those in any uh, other format you basically take the screens that you've already done and away they work um, now the only other thing that uh, has to really be done is let me pull in Microsoft IIS Microsoft IIS is acting as our web server here and when uh, we've installed the uh, Indusoft Web Studio, if it finds Microsoft IIS is already installed on your, your PC, then uh, it will go ahead and install this extension in here, this uh, Mobile Access or MA extension in your default website. And uh, uh, if it's not, uh, if it doesn't find uh, IIS during the installation, you can um, uh, install that after the fact. There's a, uh, an executable called Mobile Access Setup that'll do that for you uh, after and do soft web studio is installed the only other thing that you really need to do is set up mime types uh, within your um, uh, setup here and really what that does is it puts in um, or, or it has you put in and you can follow our uh, training videos on how to do this or our help system as well it puts the file associations that are associated with indusoft web studio and associates them with uh, indusoft web studio and therefore when uh, uh, IS publishes these it knows knows what to do with them so uh, really that's all you need to do to get yourself a remote uh, HMI on uh, Raspberry Pi uh, look forward to uh, future videos from Indusoft and we hope you found this informative and useful contact us if you have any questions you can uh, take a look at us and find us on our uh, website 
um, www.indusoft.com. Thanks and have a great day.